Transformers Activision games are possibly returning. Metroplex feeds the call of the last prime. Ooh, so, two of them. Oh, two, over there, man. Two, two of them. So in a move that surprised absolutely everyone, the Transformers Activision games have been relisted on digital gaming stores <laughs> like Steam on PC and the Microsoft Store on Xbox. Now this comes hot off the heels after the recently teased Overwatch 2 collaboration okay. indicating there could be a new era between Hasbro and Activision. Uh, who knows what other surprises may come as a result of this, but the future might look right when it comes to Transformers and gaming. So interestingly, the games do not seem to be currently showing up on the PlayStation Store. store. Uh, this all leads us to believe that this could be a result of the recent Activision Blizzard buyout by Microsoft. The games seem to be on their own native version on Xbox as they are not marked as backwards compatible. But in the same menu as other regular Xbox games, funnily enough, War for Cybertron in particular shows up on Steam, but it's missing on Xbox. Hmm. Transformers Devastation is, it's it's back on Steam. So I didn't see this in, in you know and what people were sharing but this game also was published this is this is a good game it was published by activision it was developed by platinum um so one game that i don't own on steam i have it on playstation 4 but i don't have it on on steam so i'm hope i'm really hoping that this game gets relisted too because it's one that nobody really well the, the fans talk about it but a lot of people were just never aware that it existed it kind of got buried by the cybertron mm -hmm. games uh, yeah i was gonna yeah. say i've never seen them a lot it got buried by the Cybertron games, man. But yeah, so this is wild because it seems like they're starting to reappear, but you can't, at least on Steam, yet purchase them. And the fact that they're not showing up on PlayStation, all signs do point well, to the uh, buyout that happened. Yes, Moz? Well, I'm freaking, I tried to buy like a key, right? Because you can go to, um, I forget what website it's called, but you can actually try, you can still buy like a transformers cybertron key from um you can buy it from uh, amazon because because i did this year oh i i didn't know amazon did mm -hmm. the keys but yeah mm -hmm. there was another website that you could do it and they dude they were selling at like a hundred bucks i'm like nah <laughs> yeah <laughs> nah. Am amazon had it for for regular msrp so i got it for 50 i think which I, I, now if this is happening i would feel like an eight well i think they'll re-release these games at full price just because they know what they have you reckon I, I think I've, they might do a bundle where it's like 30, 40 bucks. That's what I'm thinking. I, I think that they'll probably just relist the games as they are because, you know, Game what packs. what really needs to be done. Um, because if you remember, um, War for Cybertron, I'm sorry, Fall of Cybertron briefly came out on Xbox One. And I bought it, it there. And they, they came out with a, it was an upscaled version and it was a digital only release. You could, you could also get on the PS4 mm -hmm. for a bit as well. Yeah. The challenge with uh, War for Cybertron, though, is that War for Cybertron, even on PC, you have to mod it to unlock the frame rate because it was capped at 30. Oh. And it really didn't have any any graphics options that, it, you know, so like uh, LOD is a problem. So War for Cybertron, I think, needs the most work because it just is, you know, the, the colors are desaturated. The textures have an aged well. Uh, yeah. Fall of Cybertron is a much more vivid game with more graphical options. Uh, bling bling, you mentioned Game Pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. I think they're just slowly putting things back up. Um, and then they're going to announce hey, you can buy the games, but they're also coming to Game Pass. Yep. And they're going to hey. do something like that. And to add to that, um, we covered, we did talk about this a little bit ago, but the Infinite Warfare multiplayer being fixed as well. So maybe they're fixing all the cards, slapping Transformers. You imagine fucking, uh, probably not the same time because they like to spread it out, but you imagine within six months saying fucking these the, these Transformer games are coming to Game Pass and all the cards are coming to Game Pass. Fucking hell, man. Everyone will be running to Game Pass. You, you Imagine all the Transformer people. Fuck, I'll do it. So well, War, like, Cybertron, and COD. The, the thing, too, oh, yeah. that people are, are um, forgetting is that like Hasbro has the studio series for Transformers, and they've been releasing characters from the games. So, you know, hmm. why would Hasbro put out a toy line for, for media that doesn't exist if there weren't? motives to make this happen and like they're, they're going they're going pretty deep in it where they're even doing like the um the trooper characters the deceptive yeah. troopers 
Um, yeah. That's the next release. Uh, they're doing all this. You know, they've already released uh, Prime, Megatron, Bumblebee, Cliff Jumper, Starscream, and uh, Barricade. And uh, yeah, they're, they're they're doing like the um, the Autobot Decepticon Troopers. The Decepticon Troopers coming out next. The Autobot Troopers r- rumored, but yeah, they're 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 like going and doing the whole line. I think Autobot and Ra- I'm sorry, not Aut- Ironhide and Ratchet are, are rumored to be future releases. If I well. recall correctly, when the Microsoft Activision Blizzard deal first went through, the the um, the people that made Transformers, the the Cybertron War and mm-hmm. Fall, were some of the first to talk about it, going, "Yo, Game Pass, Game Pass, we'll do it, we'll do it. We just want to get it back out there." Yep. So. I think it's just a matter of time until I think I think Moz is right. I think they're getting all the pieces together, and mm-hmm. maybe by the end of the year, hopefully, yeah. we could see these back ready to rock and roll. Because Moza is right when he says that people will fucking flock back to these games every time you mm-hmm. go up to someone and go, "Hey, remember those uh, Cybertron games?" Everyone just freaks out, going, mm-hmm. "Yeah, it was the shit, man." Everyone love loved them. Even people that weren't like diehard Transformers. It, it was just great video games, man. Yeah. And the wild thing about these is the multiplayer had no reason to be as good as it was. Yeah, well, this, the the thing is, the uh, the Michael Bay films came out, and people were like, "Oh, that's that's kind of cool." And then these games came out, and this is what made people actual fans. So people just seen the movies as like dumb fun, right? as oh like oh big mechs fighting practically that's what people were practically like my age were just like oh cool fucking machine fighting machines but then when we played this game we wanted to actually learn about fucking transformers after that because the the um like the the first one especially the first one and even uh the new bumblebee kind of does it they only tease cybertron as as like fucking two minute things right boom boom so when you actually give us two fucking games on that planet People were fucking screaming, bro. I remember just like always what people always thought yapping about it. Well, they, they also um, had the align continuity. So if you remember the cartoon Transformers Prime from 2010, that even though voice actors, you know, changed and the, the art styles are different, that's all supposed to be part of what they call the align continuity. And they were they were planning something really big with this continuity of Transformers. And it just it kind of never came to fruition. And unfortunately, it's funny enough that you mentioned the the movies because what really killed this franchise was they forced that tie-in 10 years ago, Rise of the Dark Spark, which was the, hey, let's have, instead of doing War for, you know, the follow-up to Fall of Cybertron, let's do a tie-in where they, they, they cross paths with the Age of Extinction universe. Yeah, I don't count that game as the third. No one does. Game. No, no one, one does. does. Even though, like, technically, it kind of, sort of, it, it wasn't is. even de- it wasn't even developed by High Moon though. That's the other problem mm. with it. High Noon actually did the Dark of the Moon game, and even that was rushed. It has its fans. I yeah. I remember everyone hated the. Uh, it was just called Transformers the game. Everyone was like, "What the fuck is this piece of shit?" <laughs> yeah, that was the tie, and well, it was just based off the first the movie. Bay movie. And that was where you could pick up a tree and hit him, and it would just like one tap Megatron with a fucking that, tree. Yeah, was, that game wasn't yep. the worst, but it, it definitely was rushed. It, it had like all the hallmarks of a of, of a movie game from that generation of consoles. Um, the Revenge well, of the you, Fallen game was well, way better, and then the Dark of the Moon game was better than that. I'll tell you what, it's no Shrek Kart Racing. Looks like maybe you could be uh, getting these old games back again after all these I'm gonna play fucking the, years. 